It's one of the videos from the June 2015 update and this one will cover the derby. Now please pay attention to this video because there are a lot of important changes, especially when I scroll through the credits at the end. Right, now let's have a look at some of the most interesting changes here. Now the first thing you see is an American and British flag just next to my logo. You also notice that everybody says that they are in the derby. Now, what else has changed on that front screen? Basically nothing there. It just tells you that those individuals are participating in the derby. So all 30 members are in my derby at the moment. And later you're going to see how being in the derby will affect who you are playing against. And I'm looking forward to doing that. Now, what is this flag, I wonder? Why do I have this? Well, let's find out. Now. If I open up my group settings, it will show me that I have a preferred chat language option. And you can change this depending on the nationality of your group. So for as an example, if you're Spanish, you can choose Espanol, Italiano, uh, Portuguese, uh, you can choose Japanese, and the choice is yours. Now you can also use it as another way. Now I'm the group leader here, and I'm actually living in Japan, so I'm going to change my settings to say that Red Knight is here in Japan. This will also allow people to recognize my group much more quickly when they are looking for me. And it does not change the actual language that we're using in the group. It just tells people that are looking for a new neighborhood that if they speak Japanese, they can join this group. If they speak English, they can join that group and so forth. Now, what else has changed? Now, at the moment, okay, my group was set there for level 45, but this minimum level has changed, and it's now from level 18, and the maximum is 500. Now, the 500 allows for those players who are really high in the game. Now, no one's quite there yet, but... Supercell will keep adjusting the details as the players get higher and higher in the game. Now level 18 is for those players who want to participate much sooner in the derby. And you have to remember, which is one reason why the Supercell has made some key changes here, because a level 18 group is going to have a lot of difficulty competing against a group that's maybe level 50 or 60 or 70. Right, now what else has changed? Now we just saw the fact that uh, changing the local or the icon, nothing's really different there. But if you're searching for a group, it's exactly the same as normal. You can just type in the first letter and then search. You can type in uh, a name of that group and it will just come up. Now I'm going to type in my name here and see what happens. So we all know that my sign in name is Red Knight and I am the original. Now if I search on Red Knight, you can see all of my fan groups and notice something. That logo that was next to the 2 out of 30, 20 out of 30 has now disappeared. So in a second we go back and we'll find out what that is. Now all of these are my fan groups and if we have a look at one of them you can see that in for example this case this one is an English speaking group uh, there are three people in it and the required level is 18 so it's basically brand new for lower level players however they are level 30, 36 and 43 so they've not really adjusted their scores but if you want to join any of my fan groups and play the game with people who like my videos please do so. Now if we come back to the main setting screen, you'll notice that there are some new white icons up against the group quantity or the neighborhood quantity. Now what do these icons mean? Well the first one here that's got two little images of people, if you tap on that it will tell you that you have friends in this neighborhood. So basically the first images you're going to see are those that you are friendly with that are maybe on your Facebook or Google or Game Center account. Others will be for level or average level matching. Some will be for the language settings as being the same. Some will be for friends as you noticed earlier. Now there are a lot of different settings there and actually it's quite useful. Now for those of us who are existing players with our own neighborhoods, we don't really need that information. It's more for brand new players who are just starting out. And it deals with a lot of issues where people were saying, hey, I've just joined a group and I've just found out they're the wrong language. Is there an easier way of finding out what language someone speaks? Are they in the same part of the world as me? How do I know this before I actually join the group? Because when you leave a group, you have a cool down period. 
And as you're changing groups, this cool down period can get longer and longer and longer. So you really want to be able to make this decision far sooner uh, rather than later. And I think this is a good addition for brand new players who are just starting out and who are looking for someone. Now, what else has changed here? Now, basically, from that main screen, there are no key differences there. But we are going to now look at some of the tasks. Now, some of the tasks have really changed. Now, I must admit, I let my group down a little bit. I messed up on the time, so I'm one task failed out of all of mine. But with this latest update, there are quite a lot of new tasks. For example, this help task. Now, this help task is really cool. You get 320 points at the moment. Now, remember the scores may change because Super Del Cell does adjust the scores before the new derby starts, just so they can balance, they can try different things, just to work out good score systems for you guys. Now, with that new task system as an example, you've got more choices now. There are many, many things that we can do to get the points. So now you can maybe wait a little bit longer. You don't have to worry about doing one task when maybe another one comes along. I like the fact that they're now giving us more and more tasks. But how do they work? Now, this help task as an example. I'm going to be talking to one of my colleagues who has now started this and just find out if I do something will help towards that. And basically, it does. So a help task is for you players who enjoy helping other people. You can go down to your help bar. You can see who needs a crate filling, who needs a uh, tree or bush reviving. And then basically, every time you help them, that counts towards one total or one score for that. Isn't that fantastic? So all you have to do is revive 30 bushes and you've finished your task already. Sweet. Now, how does this work? Now, when we first saw this, we weren't entirely sure. So was it one point for helping a whole farm? Was it one point for doing one activity? So my neighbor and I, we chatted, and basically I put some bushes down for them to revive, and this is what they have done. And as you can see here, by reviving two bushes, they actually get two against their total of 30. So it turns out that every revive you do counts as one individual revive. That means that it's going to be a piece of cake if you are lucky enough to be able to get a task like this. Now, there are some other production tasks that have started that I do like as well. Now, these production tasks are quite useful. Now, I would recommend that if you are doing production tasks, you make sure that your machine is fully maxed out. You are aware of the times for your level. So if you've only got one star, two star, or three stars, the production time is going to be different. So for someone like myself who's fully maxed out, I'm going to get things done a lot faster than, say, someone who's only maxed out to the one star. So you need to bear in mind the length of time it takes to produce the goods. Secondly, when you're actually doing the tasks for the production machines. Now, a lot of my machines are completely maxed out, so I can load up machines, uh, go to sleep, come back later, and many products are made. But when you first get the machines, they've only got one or two items. So it's really going to be difficult for those people who want to do that task if they don't have enough slots. Now, it's not really expensive to use diamonds within the game to expand your production. And we do get lots of diamonds free within the game from different aspects. So do start saving your diamonds. Don't waste them on speeding anything up. Just start saving your diamonds to increase the production capability of your machines. It will make doing these derby tasks so much faster. Now, some examples of production ones I've seen. Okay, there were some feta cakes, uh, which I think is a nice addition. I've seen blue woolly hats as well. Now, what other options are there? I don't really know at the moment. So I've only seen the three new tasks show up on my board. Maybe some of the others have been ripped off or they've been done by my neighbors. I will have to wait and see at some stage. Now, because of the actual uh, help tasks that are there now, I'm probably going to be doing or requesting a lot more reviving on my farm with some of the bushes, just so my neighbors can actually come there, or my friends can come and at least earn some points. 
and it also means I can start getting more fruit and selling those. The only drawback there is I might need some more saws and axes because my stocks do get low. Now I'm loving this new Derby update but as I mentioned earlier there is one addition to the Derby that is a little bit challenging for people to understand and is quite controversial and I'm going to talk about that a little bit now and try to explain it for you to make it so it's easier for you to understand especially someone who's not really sure I've also added a link to the end of the video and the actual description or the information from Nick at Supercell he's mentioned what they're going to do and over the period of time it's going to happen so do read what's in the last part of this video and it will just scroll up the screen at a slow speed for you okay well let's explain now we all know that when we're doing the derby we're actually competing against neighborhoods of the same number of people so we know that's fair so I'm not going to be up against someone who only has three or four people because they're never ever going to be able to compete against my hood that has 30 people now this has also caused some issues because some people say well hey not everybody in my neighborhood wants to do the derby task so I'm penalized because I'm competing against a hood of 30 people that are very active so I think it's not fair I think you should tell us who's doing the derby and who's not doing the derby then that way we can kick them out of our hood and get some people who are more active now I kind of hate that uh, way of thinking if someone wants to do it or doesn't want to do it that's their choice at the end of the day this is a game it's fun it's enjoyable and we should be able to play the game the way that we like so what kind of changes have they done to deal with these kind of problems and these kind of situations well let's have a look now as an example you're looking at some scores there and some there are some good numbers there and some bad numbers so you've got competitive neighborhoods against those neighborhoods that are just there for a little bit of fun against those who are more relaxed now my neighborhood is at the top and we're 7430 the next neighborhood down is 11,000 the third one there is very similar to our score as well so this means that we're reasonably competitive but this one here the originals okay their level required is minimum 66 they got some really high level players in there and basically they've got eight gold trophies now this probably means that they are a strong hood they're all playing and they're really competitive and they basically never lose so they're probably sitting there thinking hey we're super we're fantastic we're awesome and everybody else that they're competing against kind of just gives up because they have no chance now if we look at this one here called my street they've got four silver four gold now this is kind of like a hood that's maybe mid-level to a high level based on the scores uh, they're a little competitive but maybe not as strong as the other one that we looked at because they've obviously come up against someone who was a little stronger now this is the kind of match that maybe you're looking for you're looking for someone who's evenly matched with your abilities and skills and desire that way you've got more a challenge there's no challenge to be the only team on 20,000 points and everybody else is like 15 or 16,000 points behind you okay now we've actually come up against a few hoods that have been really strong we've come in sixth or seventh place and it feels kind of like very sad to know that you've got no chance no matter what you do you just cannot maintain that pace or keep up with them because maybe they're more active I've got people that are young, they're in school, uh, myself I'm working 12 hours a day as such so I don't really get a lot of time every day to actually play the game as much as I'd like so my, my neighborhood kind of is a neighborhood that likes to compete but we're not the strongest competitor now I would love for us to be up against someone who is of an average ability like ours I look for more of the challenge now this hood here in Russia uh, I really feel sorry for this group because they're up against some strong teams and they're never ever going to get any trophies and every time you look at them it's going to be zero 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 now I feel really sad for these people 
because they cannot compete. Now this is what Supercell is going to change and they're going to make sure that anybody who is strong competes against strong teams. Anyone who is of an average ability will compete against average, anyone who's weak will compete against the weaker teams. That way you're going to see more of a balance of trophies across the board. You're going to see more and more teams able to claim those derby prizes that you've seen on Greg's farm. Now I've seen farms with maybe four or five horse carts and I've seen farms without anything. Again there's a kind of imbalance in the game because of this derby and Supercell has addressed this. Now how long is this going to take? Is it going to be something that's very quick or very very slow? Now it's going to take time. Every time you play the derby they're going to take an assessment of what you're doing. They're going to grade you against other people within the system because they can look at your data very, very easily. Now this data is going to be taken over the next few weeks, the next few months, until they finally have enough to grade you and put you into your appropriate grouping. Now please don't change the way that you play. It's not going to make any difference in your style or in what you do. If you think, hey, okay, if we play a uh, very relaxed style for the moment, then it will put us in the relaxed group, so then after they stop doing this, then we can be more competitive again. Now, it's not going to work that way. It looks like they may be doing a continuous evaluation. So you will be adjusted until it's fine-tuned, until they got a rough idea or enough data to be able to grade everybody very, very easily. In fact, my company kind of uses software like this when we're testing students. They do a test and then the test reacts to their answers or their abilities. And it then makes it more challenging or less challenging depending on the person's ability and skill. The more challenging you are, the better your scores and the better the results. And that's the same kind of thing they're going to be doing here. Now, as I said, please don't change your way of playing. Okay, just play the way you normally do. Just be as competitive as you are. If you are the kind of neighborhood that only wants people in there that will do high-level tasks, great. That's what you're going to be up against. Good luck with that. Thankfully, you still have the weak cooldown period, so you can make it much more comfortable for yourself by giving yourself 24 hours to reproduce everything again. If you're the kind of neighborhood that uses those extra 10 diamonds, then great for yourself as well. Now, if you're looking at the scores, you'll notice that that neighborhood that was in the lead earlier is now on 20,000. Mine's on 12,000. The next one that's close to us is on 12,000 as well. So we're kind of evenly matched, and everybody else is way behind. This is the reason why they're doing it. And for this reason, I'm actually quite happy that it's happening. So we know we're competing against neighborhoods that are of the same level. We know that we're now going to be competing against neighborhoods that are the same skill as us or as committed. Now you've just seen there an example of the Huskies neighborhood there. And I showed you earlier where everybody it says was in the Derby. But now we're looking at the Yadim Mahalalesi and this is a Turkish group and as you can see here not every member of the group is participating in the derby so anybody that has their own group will be able to see which members are in or not in that derby so you can make your decisions that way okay right now that's it for the derby video I hope you enjoyed it and got some information and please do watch what is about to come see you all next time